Hello guys, uh, purpose of this video is how to navigate without uh, having uh, problems and getting stuck in the water. As you can see, this is right here, is a uh, exit to the open sea and we have some problem right here. You, these are sandbars. And there's some sandbars right here so if you come out straight you will hit the sandbar and get stuck uh, these sandbars can be underwater and uh, you're not able to see them I have rolled back the picture if you go to this area right here you will see the date this is 2000, 2006 picture during a low tide. Low tide shows everything uh, that you can uh, run into. Uh, but here we are 2019 right now. So if we go over here, this is what you see. And you're not able to see the sandbar. You can see uh, some of it right here. Now what you can do is use the waves if you notice the waves right here are heavy right where the sandbar was waves are produced in shallow waters that should tell you you are in shallow water but if you go over here you notice there is no waves and if you go through this area this direction very few waves or less uh, waves so anyway using the waves you can figure out where the shallows are okay now re another uh, thing you can do you will go there on a day there is no wind uh, there's always going to be wind just because this is ocean water Gulf of Mexico but uh, Sometimes there's no wind. What you can do is make a route and have the safe route out of here in your computer. Uh, if you are gonna do this in a condition where you're not able to detect the waves and uh, you basically roll back these are sandbars so they move a lot and you do not want to go too far back in time so i pulled on google earth i come over here i get the clock and i roll the clock back to uh, a recent date so i'm back to 2018 okay you see how the sand has shifted uh, this is a 2012 probably too far seven years um, but if you did find a picture that was recent um, let's go back to that best picture which is pretty old uh, very old I'd say <laughs> for a sandbar but you would let's say if this was a recent picture you would go to this section route and you would draw your route like this save it and then uh, transfer it to your uh, gps and then uh, you name the route like you go over here safe route safe uh, I guess the word safe is good enough uh, safe and you save it and it goes right here this is on your left and you can go save place ads uh, it will save it at KMZ KMZ is uh, Google extension once you save it you have to transfer it most likely to the language that your GPS understands, uh, but GPX uh, is the language that all the GPX is the language that every uh, 
GPS system understands. That's a common denominator among all of them. And uh, it's a whole ball game to transfer things. Uh, I, I think I have some video for Lorenz. Uh, this will save you a lot of hassle. Now, why do we want to exit this uh, area when we have most people exit from here? This is what they do, they exit from here. And this one is nearby, six miles away, but, and no problem. Uh, reason for it is that if you wanna go to this area, wanna go over here, if you get out of here, you just shoot straight out and you're there, easier navigation, and you don't have to be in the ocean as long. Uh, you can uh, you can go through the ICW, which is Air and Coastal Water, right here. These water right here, it's you see some ships in it. They're barges, I mean, not ships. Uh, it's very small. Uh, let, let's go ahead and measure it. Uh, I want to give you an idea how big it is. We have a ruler here and. If you go from here to here, it can measure it. It's measuring it at 523 feet. These are protected water, so uh, it's always smooth, nice, calm water. Uh, you're never gonna have waves in it. Uh, so what we do is uh, we start from here and uh, Go all the way down and exit from this water to get a smoother ride in opposed to immediately uh, we go over here and out some people. They're immediately in the ocean water and they do most of the traveling in the ocean and uh, ocean is always rough no matter what. Uh, depends how big your vessel is. Uh, so you have an option to get out of here, but you need to know how to, this is harder to get out. I hope this gave you an idea for your area, what you need to do to travel and navigate safely. Uh, just use the timeline and go back to uh, the recent within three to four years uh, picture with a low tide, make your own route, or get an idea understanding how uh, to navigate through those water, uh, obstacles that you can run into, uh, reefs, whatever, and then use the waves to your benefit. Uh, waves indicate shallow waters and avoid those. And y'all have a good day.